So what is a flush run? A flush run is simply a active recovery that players will do anywhere from typically plus two days from their game day. So if you played on Saturday, that would be on Monday. And it's all about feeling good. So also known as active recovery. Um, Flush because you're promoting blood flow through your legs, which will help remove a lot of waste products, which is built up with high intensity bouts and also the big hits in the contested part of the game. It just helps flush all that out of the body and helps the body remove all that waste product. So rather than sitting idle and letting all that just sit there, it's really helpful for athletes to actually move once they're plus two days from their game to help them recover early in the week and then prepare for their main training session, which helps them prepare ultimately for the next game. Whereas if you just lay low and players, you may find that listening in in a week where if you haven't done much for a 48 hour period, you feel quite sluggish. And that's because you haven't used your body both mentally and physically that can have a negative effect. So to be able to follow an aerobic flush run, also known as a feel good run uh, in the Australian circles, it's really simple. You can, and I've done this many times with the teams I've worked with, you start at one arc of the ground, you run to the other end of the arc. And the main cue that I like to focus on is keep your feet close to the ground. So it's, you know, the opposite of high speed, high sprinting efforts where you feet because you're generating so much force is is traveling far off the ground and you're getting a high knee lift with this aerobic flush run we want little steps and keep your feet close to the ground so you're moving at a slow speed and that distributes the loads over many steps so it's a high cadence run and you do that on the way up it's really slow build up to maybe a 60 percent effort on the way back so you get a little bit more intensity on the effort back so that's roughly about 100 meters on most grounds football grounds And then you'll spend a couple of minutes of some moving through some range of motion. So you might be doing some squats with different foot positions. You could do some rotations through the upper back, work through lengthening your hamstrings, your hip flexors, all those muscles that are under high demand in a game because your body's still in that recovery mode. And we know that from research that doing some objective markers like Nord boards, groin testing, using force plates that it can take up to about 72 hours, some players even longer if they're under chronic heavy load phase of their training to recover from the recent game. So that's why we want to try and help those muscles restore their range of motion when they're uh, feeling tight. So the old saying, if you don't use it, you, you lose it. So getting in some mobility can be a great thing to do to break up uh, our flush run because we're not looking for a conditioning stimulus when we're doing our flush run. We're just simply looking to uh, increase the body temperature a little, promote blood flow and get that recovery effect. So the athletes actually leaving those flush runs better and feeling better physically and mentally than when they started. So it's really important that you're not just doing repeat hundreds and get a heart rate coming up and you're actually getting into a fatigue state that you're keeping the, the intensity down. And that's why it's, it's quite helpful both mentally. So it's not getting boring as well to throw in some movement and mobility through different planes of motion to help make that flush run more effective. But that's one way you could do it. And you do that, you'd repeat that about four different times and change the mobility sequences. So hit your your big ticket items like calves, groins, uh, so your hips area, upper back, uh, hamstrings, and anywhere generally that feels tight. So that's the nuts and bolts of a flush run. Hopefully the example helps. Another way that I've seen effective is working through doing 680 meter efforts at around a 15 second rep with a 20, 15 to sort of 30 second rest, depending on Uh, how fit the athletes are. So there's many different ways you can just do that along the wing. There's many different ways you can do it, but it's always best to generally do flush runs over a short distance uh, for that reason, as I mentioned earlier. So there's not a lot of fatigue.